It's one of the biggest weekends of the sporting year in Aotearoa, New Zealand, and it all starts on a Friday night with the opening matches of the Bunnings NPC. Game two at Eden Park, one of the oldest rivalries in the New Zealand game, as Auckland takes on Wellington. Kia ora tato, Heidi Mikey, Tamaki, Makoto, welcome into you all. And it's a very happy Friday night to James Parsons. Kia ora TJ, kia ora Eti Whanau, no mai, Heidi Mai. Harford taking it to the line and then driven back by Paolo. Oh, but keep coming at them, Vikena. That's a trademark run from him. Harford spotting a little angle. And the referee was playing advantage, so they'll come back. The Lions have got up offside. 25 years of age now, Harford. He's come looking for opportunities in Auckland and hasn't nailed that one. Now, Ioane. Oh, good defence. Harford. Quick hands. Then it gets rid of it. Visi near. Trying to bump off the tackle of Pepisana Patafilo. Harford. Certainly getting his hands on. In fact, this is uh, AJ Lamb, it was. Good run from him. Lovely quick hands from Auckland. And now carving up the middle is Taniello Telia. Making good ground inside the 22. Good support too from Fussy Tua to help with the clean out. Now Akira Ioane, the basketball pass over the top to Visi Nia. He's taken close to the touchline, just five metres out. And once again, it's all hands to the barricades for Wellington. Choke. Good drive towards the line for him. He lost it. So Wellington survive again. Wellington players all putting their hand up to defend. That's Brad Shields. That's a tremendous driving tackle. And he's pinched it. That's great play from Brad Shields. Garden Bashup. Well, they might have a charge at this. Peter Luckey gets a lovely inside ball from Umanga Jensen. Patafilo setting off back in field. First time in the game. Wellington have got a chance. And here is Preston. He's going to score. Well, that is a masterclass in turning defence into attack by Wellington. Their first sniff of a chance, and Kyle Preston has taken it. Take a bow, Brad Shields. Full of experience, power, desperation in the tackle. Gets to his feet. It's the turnover, and as TJ said, defence into attack. This was their biggest weapon. Nice work from Patafilo finding that inside channel. I think the ref might have just helped out Preston just a little bit. Good night, Nurse, though. Well done, young man. Yeah, certainly a couple of questions asked by the Auckland players. Michael Winter. Suggestion that he created the gap. Granata. Now to Alima. He goes close. Akira Iwani swings the pass away through the hands quickly. Nigel Wong is in for the try. Well, they had to break eventually. This Wellington wall. Auckland have made no secret that when they get down in that 22, they are rolling the sleeves up with the low numbers. But on this occasion, the skipper had the smarts to free up the outside. They've done the damage. Well, here's another chance for Auckland. They go to Tua Lima. It's not controlled, but it rolls down the back of one of the Auckland players, and it's grabbed by Akira Ioane, but there, well, there he is. He's back in the action again, and this time he wins a penalty, and how often do you see that? They got his 30-second breather, and he, that's all he needed. He is so strong. There is no moving him once he gets over the ball. Seen it all season. Fuasa. Nicely taken by Brad Shields. Oh, good, solid tackle there on Riley Higgins, but carried on by Kirifi. Now Wellington, a rare visit to the Auckland 22. They made the first one count. And here's a chance for TJ Clark in the corner. And Wellington are back in front. Two visits, two tries, how efficient is that? 
the attack coach will be very happy. Auckland court far too tight defensively. Some nifty hands from Shields. Frees up TJ Clark all too easy. Yeah, some good ball control. Is the Siali Lawaki fan club? I've had to defend so well. What a great pass. Umanga Jensen is there to pick it up, though. Tries to get past Berry. Eventually put on the ground. Uh, pick and go. Oh, he got back to his feet. Grabbed the ball. Peter Umanga Jensen. He, well, he was looking for someone to pass to. And in the end, he didn't need it. Well, Wellington stretched their lead. Tremendous play there from Peter Umanga Jensen. Big blow before the break. Uh, you have to get the man to ground and hold him there. Let go of the ball. No one in behind. Funaki looking to slip on the blind side. He made it look difficult, but he got there in the end. Oh, it's great awareness, though. Peter Umanga Jensen. So Auckland start the second half. Alex Harford. And a beautifully taken by big Hugo Plummer, the man from Tawa. And the offload to Riley Higgins. And who's there in support? Duplessis Kirefi keeps the ball alive and Plummer's there. Well, this is a really good start by Wellington. Can they cap it off with early points? Garden Bashup, not with that kick. He's been very good tonight. That's probably not his best work. Well, we saw the run there from Hugo Plummer. There he is. That's a great skill reaching out like a member of the Dream Team pulling in a rebound. Auckland's looking to strike the first blow of the second half. Akira Ioane with a hand on the ball, picks it up, charges for the line, and the captain's in. Playing like the game's rigged in his favour. The skipper for the night, Akira Ioane. As simple as you like, off the back of a solid platform. All too easy. Once again, Auckland, they strike back. Oh, he makes it look easy, though. So good in that situation. Shields, Kirefi, Jackson, Garden, Bashup, and Lakai flung to the ground. Well, seatbelt tackles the call here from Taniello Tilia. And so it's a penalty. Now, Wellington here, what do they do? This is very kickable. So this one, 38 metres out, he won't have a problem with the distance. It's right in front. Just a chance to get three back after conceding that try early in the second half, floating towards the post, and oh boy, I put the mockers on him. Fair square there, didn't I? Plummer. Good defence there, led by Adrian Choke. Another penalty. Same spot almost. Garden Bashup gets a second shot at it. This time under it a bit more and lofts it between the posts and so Wellington restore some of that half-time advantage 22 to 14 oh beautiful hands again from Clark the offload and here is Kyle Preston again some of the hand-to-hand -hand stuff when they've had the ball from Wellington has been very good Trying to dig it out. Umanga Jensen finally able to release it away to the veteran. Polo. Preston swings the pass away. Jab through by Garden Bash. Awkward at the back. Funaki did well under pressure from Matt Proctor. Puasa finds Plummer and Puasa. Doubling around, oh, Higgins almost slicing them open. Great offload away to Preston, and they're just a couple of metres from the line. Well, Wellington with a chance here now to strike a huge blow in this game. Plummer getting more and more prominent as the game's gone on. Proctor in to clear it. Kinefi charging at the line. He's close. Oh, I've got it up. I've got it held up. I've got it. No, I do. I've got it held up. We'll get it checked. If it's, no, if it's wrong, they'll tell me. I've got it held up at the moment, though. I have to believe that got down. 
Oh, yes. Go, try stands. Well, eventually the decision is made and it's the right one and the skipper once again makes another big mark on this game with the try. Uh, Auckland have it through Curry. Haiti Parapara pops it up. Ioane there, numbers away to the right. All good defence on the line from Wellington. Sullivan quickly away, set is in. Well, there's still a bit of life in them, Auckland. They're running out of time, but Sekner's try gives them a chance. Just great work. Patience on this occasion. Good hands there. Beautiful hands from Sullivan. Sekner gets the five points. They will quickly want to knock this over. If they get this, they're still going to need to score twice to win this match. Free kick. Taken quickly by Ioane. Tackle made by McLeod. Here come Auckland. Can they sneak a couple of bonus points out of it? Oh, thunderous tackle from the man of the match. Duplessy Kirefi, quite rightly, has the last say in this game. Wellington get their Bunnings NPC campaign off to the best possible start with a win at Eden Park by 29 to 21. And they take a bonus point, and they deny Auckland anything.